<laughs> so tell me about your first deal. First deal. So, so I started applying the videos, right? So what do we put out those mini billboards, mm-hmm. bandit signs? We all love those, right? Those yeah. are huge back then. Um, so Cypress Gardens, 69th Avenue Indian School, big apartment complex or condo owned yeah. complex. A gentleman called me, said, hey, I got to sell my house. Um, I need to move to Kentucky because my mother's ill. Can you buy this? Sure. Yeah. Let me set the appointment. Go check it out. Um, so I went to that house and I offered them $12,000, right? So now think about that time. So anyone that was in the business in 2009, 2010, I'm dealing, I'm competing with auction, foreclosures, cookie cutter homes, 2000 built or newer. So anyone that's like moving a lot of deals, they don't even care about the Maryville, South Phoenix section of, Phoenix, uh, of town, especially a 2-1 condo <laughs> to, to top it off. Anything 2-1 just wasn't flying. Mm-hmm. So it was a really, but I didn't know, I didn't know that. So I um, got to the situation where we got it under contract. And the key there was he, he needed to sell. He didn't want to sell. So that's the key thing where I think a lot of people get mixed up on. So he had to move. He had to go to Kentucky. So that's how I got the contract. And the way I sold that deal once again, it was back on the internet. I found this lady out in Tampa, the other guru city, and she was just like, just send a letter to everyone in the complex and say you have a property you want to sell. I was like, oh, good, good point. So sat there, pen, paper, wrote 200 letters. My phone started blowing up. So got the calls coming in. First call, hey, I want to know if Jared O'Connell has called you. And I don't even know why. I was like, who's this? What are you talking about? She's like, I run the HOA. And we're on a race to go buy the most condos in this complex. And I want to beat him. I want this deal. So I was like, oh, let's, all right, great. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So we met and invited her to the property. And then the tough part there was, I didn't know this. So we're all three of us, the owner, myself, and the potential buyer are in this room. And she's like, Mike, so you only want 18,000. So I threw five on it. Because what was the, uh, <laughs> I know you're laughing. Steve got jokes. So um, I threw five on it because anything I read in the internet was 30 days, make five grand. Yeah. So that was my whole, there's no comping. There was no thought behind it. I just threw 5K on it. She's like, you only want 5K. So when you hear that, that's another thing, right? Oh, shoot. Left money on the table. Left money on the table. But then, then the hard part for me at that time was the owner looked at me and goes, Mike, but you're only giving me 12. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, that's just how it goes, man. <laughs> but he didn't care because, once again, he needed to leave. Right. Right. So that was the key. Um, but, yeah, that was my first deal, man. How long did it take from when you contracted with him to you sold it to that uh, HOA person? 45 days. 45 days. Yep. Which, you know, I know it could take long, usually takes longer. Or You never know, man. I, you know, it The fact that you hand wrote 200 letters, I mean, I think that's awesome. Yeah. And you kind of mentioned in passing that Tampa is the other guru capital. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I heard that they were at that time the capital, and then as, I think I think Sean Terry at some point kind of like pushed that mantle over here. Yeah, I I bet he did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so that was your first deal. Yeah. Sound like it was pretty seamless. Very. 